This is the DJI microphone. That's the Mavic 3. How to combine the two. That coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing, it's greatly appreciated. As mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna to talk about how to film with the, say, a drone and a external microphone and be able to combine the two. All right, so the entirety of this video is going to be filmed using the DJI Mavic 3, that's right there, and the DJI microphone, which is right here. All the audio will be combined in post, but I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks on how to do it successfully. So first off, one of the things that you'll need is obviously a recording device. You'll need it to be able to record audio externally. The external audio could be something like a, a, a Tascam audio recorder, something like this with, hooked to a lavalier microphone, or this new DJI microphone system that has built-in recording within the transmitter. Secondly, obviously you're going to need a drone to film with if, or some other device if you wanna do it on the ground. This, uh, the syncing method that we're going to be using pertains to anything that can record video. All right, so now I've got the drone. It's probably about 30 feet away. I am using the uh, telephoto lens of this drone, the 7X Optical, and it is, uh, this is just so I can get the sound of the drone further away from me so you don't hear the humming, hopefully, in the background, and uh, it will get a lot cleaner audio that way. All right, so once you have your microphone set up, uh, my microphone is just magnetized to my shirt right here, and it is uh, recording internally. Uh, you just need to get your drone in place, uh, start recording on your lavalier microphone or your microphone system, and then you need to create an audio cue that will make it easier for you to sync and post. What I normally do if I have a controller in my hand like I do right now, I will just tap the microphone like that. That gives us an audio cue as well as a visual cue to be able to sync it and post. Now, I am using the optical lens here, but the drone is about 15 feet away from me. That's how it's this much closer. But you can probably start hearing that propeller noise going in the background. It's just that little bit of a hum. So that's one reason why we keep it further away from us. So once we have our audio and our video captured, we need to combine it in a video editing software. My video editing software of choice is DaVinci Resolve. There is a free version. It, it does take some getting used to it as a professional program. Uh, but is de definitely worthwhile learning that program. I do use the paid version, which is the DaVinci Resolve Studio app, uh, so it does have some more advanced features, but the basic version should get you by. So once you go ahead and get your audio and your video copied off and imported into DaVinci Resolve, what we need to do is put those both on the timeline, and we need to then find that audio and visual cue and simply just align them. Repeat that with all your videos that you've taken and export it and you will have something like that looks just like this video today. So whether you're close up or if you're very far away just like this video, your audio will be synced and come through crystal clear just like this. So another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and start screen recording on this. You can simply draw a box around yourself in the DJI Fly app and then we can have it active track us. And what I can do then is I can just simply walk around and I don't even have to look at my screen. I could even leave my controller back there if I wanted to and it would go ahead and follow me around. Now this is one cool way to be able to do any kind of vlogging. Uh, if you're a one man camera crew and you don't have a, another person to take video for you, you can do it all yourself just using your drone and external audio. All right, now this time, instead of just having spotlight mode on, I do have active track mode on, so it is going to try to follow me. All right, now here we are. We're in a little bit more shaded area. I probably have some shadows on my face, but you'll get the idea of how easy it is to have a one-man camera crew just like this. So I hope this quick tutorial really helped you out. If it did, please thumbs up. That's much appreciated. Also consider subscribing for new content that we're releasing all the time. So that's it. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.